Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today. All of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Stephen Klein is a photographer who worked with stars such as Britney Spears, Madonna, and Lady Gaga. He directed the occult elite symbolism lot in video Alejandro, so you know he is all about the agenda. Not long ago, he did a photo shoot for W Magazine, by the way, magazine with a one-letter name are so edgy. This one is all about dehumanization and the promotion of humanism using strange lustful images. Lara Stone, who is blinded by her status of puppet, kisses the knee of her robot overlord. They really want us to think that robots are sexy, fashionable, and, most importantly, superior. Should someone tell that model that this robot is not alive and that it won't kiss her back? She does not seem to understand the difference between a person and a non-person robot. This photo shoot from the April edition of Numero China is replete with mind control symbolism. In this pic, we see model Jessica Stam looking spaced out or dissociated while holding an apple, which can refer to a dissociative drug. In the background is a creepy looking person with a stripped vest or the handler overlooking the scene. Here's Stam next to giant masks that represent alter personas. Also, she is hiding one eye. Blank stare while holding a mask, alter persona. Here's a creepy person in a creepy rabbit costume wearing the mask from the picture earlier. Like in Alice in Wonderland, MK slaves are told to follow the white rabbit through the looking glass, dissociation. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. After releasing a hit single last year, Katie Tiz got signed with a major label, and released her single, Whistle While You Work It. She is now all about saluting the occult elite. She does it again. And again. She also wears a feline print glove to let you know that she is also down to promote kitty programming. The complete industry pawn package. Another up-and-coming British artist that is all about the agenda is Charlie XCX. Here, she does the one-eye sign using a diamond-like stone, the stone used to represent presidential models and kitten programming symbolism. And yes, she is very much about kitten programming. Madonna as well. She is also required to do a subtle one-eye sign on the cover of Rolling Stone. That's what you have to do to stay in the business. The world of fashion has always been down with Satanism. Here's a Gareth Pugh creation, featuring a Baphomet head on a dualistic pattern. This dress features a checkerboard pattern similar to that floors. The model is hoodwinked, the same way they are hoodwinked during initiation. And this photo shows a subtle inverted pentagram on the chest area. As usual, a bunch of celebrities in need of attention did the one eye sign every chance. Here's Amy Adams looking weird. Game of Thrones Natalie Dormer doing the one eye sign in the one of issue on Cosmopolitan magazine. Macy Williams, yet another actress from the Game of Thrones, subjected to the one eye sign. This cover of Cosmopolitan magazine looks like a parody of Cosmopolitan magazine. I mean, just read the ridiculous headlines on it. Even more ridiculous is, Madonna looking like an beta kitten going to an occult elite masked party. Inside the magazine, Madonna has one eye hidden, proving, once again, that she is 100% on board the occult elite's agenda. One eye hidden by a strategically placed hat. I won't even comment on the rest of that outfit. 
the Irsuki Waterhouse on the cover of Grazia. According to MTV, B. Miller injects young blood in rock and roll. According to me, she's injecting old tired but obligatory one-eye symbolism in pop culture. Not surprising for someone who is pushed by the Disney music empire. The one I signed on the cover of Vogue Russia. FKA twigs on the cover of Complex, with a pillar strategically placed under her eye. On the cover, is written built to last, because when you're part of the agenda, like FKA twigs already is, you get to stay in the business a little longer. One eye on the cover of a magazine on psychology. Yup. Here's Lindsay Lohan, who might be an actual beta kitten, doing the all-seeing eye inside a triangle at a Kanye West concert. She was so proud of this picture that she posted on Instagram. Sad. The Jenner sisters keep posting one eye pics to remind you that they're a product of that system. Beasel's new ad campaign solely revolves around models hiding one eye. This ad campaign for MAC Cosmetics is all about the one eye sign. This ad for a CNN documentary features Jesus with one eye hidden. A great way to tell us that the contents of that show is most likely skewed to fit the elite's agenda. Jared Leto celebrated the fact that he stopped looking like Jesus by getting a haircut and shaving his face by posting a one eye pic. After looking like Jesus for a while, Jared Leto performs with horns on his head, while his band's logo the alchemical symbol of air, which also looks like a stylized pyramid with a capstone, is in the background. While there are many artists in the entertainment industry, they are all forced to revolve around the same symbolism. Robbie Williams agrees. The Wild is a popular show in Berlin. Its advertising is all about the one-eye sign illuminating your world. The slogan Nick von Dieserwelt means not from this world, which is somewhat appropriate. The Warner Music Brit Party 2015 took place at the Hudson's Hall on February 25th in London. The colorful lights emphasized the iconic symbolism of the building, the twin pillars and so forth. The entire event highlights the connection between the music industry and the occult elite. Eurovision 2015 is one of those music contests looking to find the next industry puppet. Throughout the show, a gigantic eye stares at the ecstatic crowd and the people at home, letting us know who is behind the killing of true musicianship. Throughout the years, I posted pictures of several stages from award shows and music competitions that displayed gigantic eyes. There is no coincidence there, it is a code that most people do not understand, although it is literally staring at them. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.